guys, this is Scrappy Stuffy, and I'm here with a very small haul and a little project share. Um, I've been working on a chunky mini, and I'm about finished with what I'm going to do up to this point. I've fixed it so that I can add things to it along the way, so I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I'll do a real quick project, or um, haul, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I went to Tuesday morning and Hobby Lobby. Well, I went to Hobby Lobby to look for one particular thing, and that kind of sent me on my little foray. Let me get my arm out of the way here. Um, if you guys remember, I had gotten some Happy Meal uh, mail, excuse me, oh, a week or so ago from Shishi Cobrea, and she had put this beautiful card in it. Hi, Shishi. And um, it was just beautiful, and I was asking her about how the foil how she did the foil and she had told me that it was um poster board at hobby lobby excuse me excuse my arm again guys and um so i went to hobby lobby looking for that foiled poster board and what i found i don't know if this is what she she got but what I found, I found the large pieces, and it was funny, I had set something down, and what I had set it down on was this pack right here, and I was so excited. So for $2.99, this is a pack, it says white, so that kind of threw me off, right? Well, let me see if I open it up here, guys. I, want, I have to show you all this. So when I opened it up, it had all different colors of foiled poster board. Um, and as you can see in that card, what did I do with it? From Shishi, it embosses beautifully. Look how beautiful that embossed um, with her embossing folders. So um, I was going to get just a couple of, of sheets of the silver. I was going to get a sheet of the silver, gold, and the red. In the larger size and cut them down and then I saw this variety pack and I was so excited and it actually I used my 40% off on it and it only it was like a buck 60 or something like that so thank you she she for that um, inspiration I am very excited to try that for embossing and then while I was there I just passed by the um, clearance rack and I found, I saw this, and I thought it was a book. I thought it was a journal, and it was $5.99, and I was curious about it, and I opened it up, and this is what was inside. It is a Sizzix die. Let's see if you guys can see that. I know you can't really see. Okay, let me show it, turn it over and show you what it is. It is a Brenda Walton peony or piney as we used to call it in the country. I grew up in the country and we called them pineys, but I think most people call them peonies. So that's what it is. And I went ahead and punched it out and it has a pretty good sized flower. And then the center and then the leaves. And then it has a little banner. And then this ruffles to make the stamens. Um, I, I actually went online to um, Amazon and looked this uh, particular die up. This die sells on Amazon for I think it was $25.98. So I don't know how in the world Hobby Lobby put it out there for $5.99. But um, the flowers that it showed on Amazon were beautiful. This has got to be my steal of the week, guys. This was... Uh, beautiful dye. Love it. And for what a great price. So that was my happy trip to Hobby Lobby. Well, since Tuesday morning is right down the road from Hobby Lobby, I thought, well, I'll just, I'll step in because I had seen on a couple of haul videos where you guys had picked up these bags. And I really wanted the bags. I really wanted the ones for the regular card size. They did not have any. The only sizes they had were the very small ones that I can put like embellishments in. And then they had the larger ones, which I can still make this work. This is not that big of a deal. Um, I can still make it work. But I would have preferred to have, you know, the ones that ended about here. <laughs> I, uh, funny enough, I sent a picture to a friend of mine to show her that Tuesday morning had these. And she had already went yesterday and got a bunch of them. So... 
Also from Tuesday morning, um, they had a bunch of Prima flowers in. And I didn't get too many. They had a lot. I did actually showed great restraint. Um, I got these just because they're kind of shimmery. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. They're very kind of shabby chic. And then I also got... Where are the other ones? I got these, the white ones. They did have a couple of other packages that um, I passed over. Um, I, these are tape. Um, tape. They're adhesive strips, a adhesive borders. This is what I want to say. You just pull the strip off, and then they make borders, and they're they're quite long. And uh, they were ninety nine cents. And then um, I've got a couple of different packs of these from with, with different genres, but um, these were all thank you, so this would be cute on thank you cards. It's the chalkboard stickers by American Crafts. And then uh, the other thing I picked up, my aunt, uh, my aunt Betty, uh, her name starts with a B, of course, and um, I just picked this up. I usually try to take her a little trinket or something when we go visit her, and I thought she would like that. And the last thing I picked up there was the Pizzelle cookies. I don't know if I've uh, showed these or not on my hauls before, but these are the 8-calorie cookies. They're actually really good. Um, and I haven't tried the cinnamon before, so I picked up those. Okay, now I'm just going to show my Chunky Mini. So, um, the wrap, what I've done is um, I have took a brad and some uh, basting tape. I forget what this is. See? Seam binding. I forgot what this is called. Seam binding, and I've taken a brad and um, put the hole in through the brad to adhere it to the back. And then, uh, basically, this will wrap around, and then it will wrap around the uh, button. I'm not going to do that at the moment because we're going to look at it. Uh, my battery's low, so i got to hurry. Um, this book, the chipboard pieces, I picked up at Tuesday morning, oh, probably a year ago, I guess, um, and they were like 99 cents. Um, I put those together um, with some cardstock. I used some washi tape for the binding. I covered both of them, both back and front, with Mod Podge, several coats of Mod Podge. Life is good. I adhered a button with um, what is this stuff? E6000. And then the basis of this book this is for me, and um, I did my signatures and um, just tied them right there. But this is a vintage, it was based on uh, the majority of the paper that I used was Tim Holtz uh, Seasonal. Uh, eight by eight. In fact, I used just about all of it, believe it or not. Um, and it, the idea behind this, I love vintage, I love retro, and a lot of times you see little charms, you see little buttons, you see little stickers, you see little just whatnots, and you never quite have a place to put them. And I thought it'd be neat to have a little book that is a retro book, to put little knick-knacky stuff, just little whatnot. So this, it truly is a chunky mini, and it's this thick now, and I'm sure it's going to be thicker. So I'm going to do this just quickly before my battery runs out, hopefully. Um, I have used uh, some hodgepodge of different papers as well on the inside. Um, so I'm just going to show you. I've used stickers. Um, I may, took a little doily and uh, coffee stained it, or tea stained it, excuse me, folded it, put a little heart behind it, added some, um, I think that's Petaloo, a little spray there, uh, cut some hearts out of uh, an old, I think it was an old magazine, um, just vintage kind of things. I added a Tim Holtz little clip here because someone had given me this. Um, this actually is a little old charm. It's not old, 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 but it is an older charm. Probably, I don't know how old it dates back, but somebody gave it to me in a box of old things that they'd had. So I thought that was cute to put on. And then this is a, um, just a replica of an old vintage, um, valentine that I cut out. I kind of fussy cut and just tried to edge the little bit. So I'm just going to, I've stamped along the way, and a lot of these pages don't have anything on them. They're what I will put things on, whether it's bottle caps or just whatever. Um, 
and they go season by season or more holiday by holiday. You've got Valentine's, you've got spring here. Just added some different things. Um, I've got lots of room to add. You've got July 4th. Added some stickers. There's fireworks things. there just to add a lot of different things I added a um, epoxy sticker there just did a little stamping now we're into Thanksgiving and um, I just made a little pocket and I cut out a couple of the cards and just kind of made just little pull out cards there stamped again Put some stickers and same thing on this side just made a little pocket and uh, I just thought those were so lovely, so pretty. Just pretty things to look at. And then we're getting into Christmas. And um, I really didn't do too, a lot of fancy, just added stickers and some bling and made a little vellum pocket here and c did some of the cutouts there. Um, here I took um, some of the little songs and stamped them and made it like a little songbook. Um, another pocket with a couple little the little cutouts. Um, this poinsettia, um, it it was on something old that someone had given me, and I took it off carefully, and then I added a gem to it. Not everything in here is old, but it's meant to look old. This is a little tuck pocket that I can uh, put some things in right there. So this was just a little chunky mini. It's just covering seasons. It, it like I said, it was. It's called. It says life is good, and um, I just picked the chipboard up at Tuesday morning. And the whole purpose is just to put the little things that you just can't always um, don't have a spot for. But I wanted to have a place to display them. And then when I wrap it, of course, it doesn't matter how big it gets because the binding will go with it. And I'll probably just set it out for display. So just wanted to share with you it, nothing fancy, just a cute little, um, just a cute little something for me to attach little whatnots is the best way. You know, I go to the flea market, I go to the auction, and there's always like little bottle caps, little flowers just little things just like the little charm that someone had given me um in a in a just a it was a bag of old stuff and um you know i thought it'd be nice to have some place i like the retro anyways i loved the paper line i loved looking at the old things and i thought it'd be nice to have something just a little something to put old old stickers or old little mementos or whatever on it so anyways just thought i'd share guys and i will catch you all later thanks for watching